We here today to talk about the history of the black Indians. Um, in my process of talking about it, I'm going to use some parables to deal with trying to show you how we have been altered from who we are now, or from who we were then to who we are now. Geographic, the land is here. And I find that the land have been altered in names. And what the names is, I'm going back 250 BC when they said Shafunta people were here in Louisiana as we know it today. The Shafunta people also referred to themselves as Shata. Being that they referred to themselves as Shata, that was who they were. Shafunta was the nation, that was their people. No difference than today I live in the United States, I live in Louisiana, I live in Bonfacat, right outside of Slidell. I live in a place that has an address called whatever my address is, and street name. Okay, this is like your geographic zone. And, and when the Indians were living in Shafunta Nation, they were Shata people, and they lived in villages. Different villages had different names. What they did to us is like the chicken and the egg with the duck. And I like to tell people, who we are today is what someone told us we were. That's not who we started out. I hear a lot of black people who are black Indians refer to themselves as saying, my grandmother was an Indian. Okay, grandmother's an Indian, what are you? I'm African American, colored or Creole, or whatever names we use in this area. And my problem is, how do you get from an Indian grandmother to be an African American colored uh, 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 Creole. Well, how you get there is because someone else does this. They give you labors. And we have a right to accept the labor, labor or reject it. Indian is an accepted labor to an extent, and then it's also a controversial labor. Uh, Native Americans uh, or American Natives would be more acceptable because we were here already. First people would be acceptable, but we have allowed ourselves to accept titles, Indian, Creole, African American. Very controversial when you're trying to talk to people about this because we're so set on this is the name we've been called always. No more have we been called these names going back in history is no more than the names of these towns is what was in history. So, going back to Metairie, my grandfather them called Metairie Chapatula. Chapatula was a village, but Chapatula also was named after a chief. We gotta look at New Orleans and go back in time before New Orleans. New Orleans only come in with the 1803 um, era in a way to the New Orleans we know today, the latter part of the 1700s. Prior to that, what was New Orleans in the 1600s before the first Europeans start coming into the New Orleans area? And then you'll start finding it falling underneath the Chifuncta area. I have had the pleasure of having DOT to give me paperwork dating Chifuncta back to 250 BC. That's prior to slavery trade and all of this. Then someone could easily say, well, chief, that doesn't mean the Indians were black or the natives were black. Well, let's look at what the earth say. When they dig into the ground, they're finding black people in that era. They're not finding European looking people. They are finding black people. They're so black they can be compared to being an African of today. So the earth giving its version also. And what I mean, they're digging up bodies from 300 years ago. They're digging up bodies 1,200 years ago. They're digging up artifact that dates back to 250 BC and beyond. There are documents that say that we was here 30,000 years ago. We need to look into those things. Not relying on what they have taught us. And those who are listening, I would like for you to go on the internet or Google this book called The Lies My Teacher Told Me. Read that book. Because a lot of stuff that we were told were lies. And the lies was there to change the, 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 the history of the area. And I don't care where Europeans go, they change the name. They put new names there after them and they people or where they came from. And they don't never worry about how much of your history they're altering. 
It's all about building and creating a history. That's what they were doing and creating wealth. We're looking at greed, okay? And greedy people like to put their labor on other people's stuff. And so we've been robbed. We've been robbed of our history, our culture, our language. We even been robbed of our beliefs. Our language had its own belief. Our people had its own belief. So as we begin to look back and say, I'm Catholic, I'm Baptist, I'm Methodist, that's another history we need to go back and see. Where did we start? When did we get converted into the religions that the Europeans brought to these islands? Okay? Now, as the European came, let's go over this one right quick. One of the geographic things that we have lost is at first they called this the Caribbean. At first they called this the Floridas which means below the 31st parallel, there used to be at least about at the 32nd parallel coming down the Floridas. And the Floridas ran all the way out into the Caribbean island and this was all a part of the Caribbean island. Look at what the original people or first people of the islands look like. They're black. So we all looked at alike. But something happened on this side of the Gulf of Mexico that gives us this new identity called United States of America. And United States of America didn't get here until 1803. To us, this was a foreign land down here. United States was above the 31st parallel in 1798. So this was not United States. That's not that far back when we go to look and to see how long this has been America. It's not that far. We're just going 300 years back. This is a baby part of a United States. And we have allowed people to make us think that this has been United States forever. We allow people to teach us that slavery been here from the same time it was in the 13 colonies to when it was in Georgia. That's not the truth. So, if you know your history, you can follow your history beyond the 300 years. You'll find where you come from, where you fit, before you got that label, before they took the egg and put it under the duck. See, because what I'm talking about, that egg got put under the duck after the United States take over. Even the Spanish and the French, which they wasn't good to be working with either, because they was in it for greed, they didn't even really try to take the egg and put it under the duck. They dealt with the chicken as the chicken and the duck as the duck. The swan is the swan. But somewhere when United States took over this area by decree, which is called West Florida. See all these names? You get lost. You gotta sit down and write these names down. Backtrack them. So when this became United States, it was West Florida prior to that. And under West Florida, it ran from the Mississippi on the latter point, from the Mississippi to uh, Florida, to Pensacola. Prior to that, it ran from the Mississippi to the Black Warrior River, which the best way to say the Black Warrior, to bring it to your point, we're talking about going all the way from here to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, to the Black River. That's a long way, long way. And I like the name Black Warrior. Tuscaloosa means black warrior. Why would a white or yellow Indian call themselves black warrior? Well, DeSoto described him as this huge, muscle-built, tall man, well-structured, and he was copper tone, dark, indigo. Or another controversial title that'll get you stuck underneath the duck is they would say olive complected. And when I ask people, what is olive complected? They say, oh, the color of Italians and so on. That's not true. You buy pizza and eat it all the time. You don't see no yellow olive sitting on your pizza. You see a black olive. There were, and you can do your own research out there. Olive complected. Start with that right now. You got to change what the teachers taught you. They taught us the wrong thing. The olive tree that was raised in Southeast United States, if you look it up, was a tree that had a yellow, it was like you had a greenish 
yellow hue as it ripens, from green to a yellowish hue, and a ripe olive is black. Okay? And when you look at this olive, it has this brownish blackish color. It's not just a, a, a flat hue. Did you have a brownish blackish hue there? So that was the complexion of the people that they were coming in contact with. Then you read on in history and you find where they say the people were indigo, the color indigo. Indigo is black. So today when I look at Indians, which is highly controversial every time I said it because the reason it's highly controversial, nobody don't want you to look. I want you to look. Why we today we cannot tell an Indian from a European white person? We need to ask questions. When then we gotta just go back to the, the European zone movie. Years ago when I was coming up, they were darkening the Indians and painting them up to make them look darker so they could fit in with what an Indian looked like then. Now, they don't have to use makeup to darken them. They can just take a white person and say this an Indian. Not a new alteration because they have altered our views of what an Indian look like. They have successfully, they feel, have done that. So they don't have to play with our mind with, with makeup. They can just give us that and we buy that. When I'm looking at how they have played with our minds of leaving from who we naturally were created to be, I start to see in problems with my people. They don't have an identity, so they reach to far lands to find everybody trying to make it back to Africa. Everybody's trying to descend from slavery. What about the Indians that had no slavery ancestry? Back to the colors again. So let's go back to the colors. We talked about indigo, we talked about the, the olive complected, but let's do another thing. Why did the Indians in their movie of the cowboy and Indians of the West, why did the Indians refer to the white man as pale face? Evidently, he had to look different from the Indian and he had to look pale, so that means it wasn't light. It had to been a dark person referring to a lighter complected person. Another thing to add to your notes, how did all the black Indians die? And all we see today is white Indians. When there are history documenting black complected Indians, even in your Smithsonian, even in your, 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 uh, your universities, we gotta start, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a real controversy. We gotta stop going to the ball games and the party and taking trips to see a, a, a rat in Florida distracting us and we need to take a trip to some of our history so we can show our children who they are you know anytime a white man can take a rat that ain't a rat and put it in a suit and become a trillionaire or a zillionaire because people go there just to see a rat in a suit that's how we can be sidetracked so easily when I look at the Superdome or the Saints Finna get real controversial now. I look at, I see, this is what I see. I see an arena. And arenas go back thousands of years when the pharaohs gathered the different people of different races and make them fight each other to death or to fight an animal till death. And so when I look at New Orleans, I'm like, are we in an arena? Have they placed us in an arena to fight one another to death? And those who are rich in power gain. Well, let me tell y'all, this is not the first time. This happened before. It happened with the Indians when they had them fighting against one another, thinking they were going somewhere, and the only person who got somewhere was the European person who started the fight in the first place and miseducated us in the process. So now, black America need to really look at their history. Who are we in the arena of? Who's losing? And in black America right now, when I go to the prisons, I see majority of our people locked up in prison. Someone wrote a book called the modern day slavery. We gotta look. There are people out there trying to say, open your eyes, open your eyes, read. Let's talk about it. And that's when I say, I think we can take this show and eliminate racism. I want this show to get Black people, white people, Latino people, everybody talking and digging. Because when you find out, when you start digging, 
you're gonna find out there's a lot of coup d'etat or tricks pulled on all of us. While we battling at the bottom over little things, someone is winning at the top. Now, back to the topic of the, the I've been here since 250 BC. Been documented in times as the first people were dark. How all of a sudden in the last 300 years I leave from dark to being X'd out and another race have taken my place. Well, how that happened is they took the chicken egg, put it under the duck. Duck hatched it. Chicken come out not looking like the duck. Okay? So then the, 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 the chicken walking with the ducks trying to fit in at all times. Ducks quack quacking, chicken cluck clucking. Quack, quack, cluck, cluck. Didn't take long for that duck to figure out something wrong here. I can't get the cluck. But it wasn't until the ducks hit the water and they could swim. Chicken like, wait a minute. I can't swim. I don't fit in here somewhere. Something happened to me. So then they start to make the poor little um, chicken start thinking it has some kind of birth defect or something. So the chicken got to check itself. Well, I don't have web feet, they have web feet, but I do have a little bit of web, but it's not meant for swimming. I don't have the tail that that duck is using also to, to, to pedal through the water with his feet and, and, and navigate his body. I don't have all the right navigating tools. Well, that's what we ought to be as a people today. We ought to be looking at that duck saying, wait a minute, something missing. I don't have the navigating tools. Somebody put me where I don't belong, okay? Because you couldn't put yourself there because you went there as an egg. So. They didn't just play with the chicken and the duck. They took it one step farther. Like I told you, they took the duck head, stuck it under the swamp. Now the poor duck running around to me, he's the ugly duckling. And he started trying to catch up and be like the swan at all times. Now the swan, he swims a little more swiffer, a little more elegant than even the duck. Now let's go. Oh, she done went to the farm on us. Well, I live on the farm, okay? So I'm gonna bring you back. Our job with this show should be to get the chickens to understanding geographically, physically, mentally that a chicken is a chicken and get the ducks back in the duck place and get the swan back in the swan place. Now, if we do this, we're going to change the history that have been taught to us and somebody don't want us to do that. So they, their job is to keep us looking in the other direction and just keep trying to swim and keep sinking. Okay? Now, I'm going to take this. I'm going to say the Indians is the chickens, the Creoles is the ducks, and the, so the Indians now, they made them African-American. So did the Creole. They made them African-American. So we're making another move. There's no Creole on a censor. So long as we're keeping all of these little titles, we're not going to see the 250 B.C. history. That's what they're focusing you away from. Don't look back. I, I know y'all remember people say, don't look back. Don't worry about what's back there. Deal with right now and move forward. That's because they don't want you to know you're a chicken. Let's look at the man that does genealogy, what his name is. He'll never do nothing on me. He done made every black person come from Africa. Um, Louis, um, what's the man name? Do the DNA thing, family tree thing. Okay. I'm still trying to wonder about him. When he did his, he began to show where he went back to being European. But when you do everybody else's, they go to Africa. I find problem with it. But if people still want to get there and make him rich by paying them to tell them their history, instead of uh, relying on what their people told them, then I have problem with that. Because you're going to stay being sitting under the wrong thing being hatched. Your children are being born under the duck. Let's get the children back where they belong. Okay? And I'm using the word hatch because that's not your birthright. That's where someone puts you. Okay? And have confused us.